Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Gonna make some burgers today, just some easy cheeseburgers, a couple of variations for you. Very, very easy to make. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's take a look at this, very, very easy. So I've got some ground beef there, or minced beef, whatever you call that. I've got 600 grams there, and this is like an 80-20, so 80% meat, 20% fat in it. You can use a nice lean one if you want, I actually like the fat. Smoked paprika, two teaspoons. Salt and pepper to taste, about a teaspoon. Celery salt, one teaspoon. Garlic powder, one teaspoon, one egg. Now with the paprika, just a little note, there's usually three types of paprika you'll find. Smoked, that I'm using, delicious. Sweet, which is very mild. And then hot paprika. Hot paprika is basically chili powder. It's really, really hot. So be careful that you don't add that in unless you want. Very simply, we're gonna give that a mix. Okay, so I've got a rubber glove on here. Mixing bowl, beef is in, in goes the egg, in goes the garlic powder, in goes the celery salt, in goes the salt and the pepper, and in goes the smoked paprika. Very, very simply, we're now gonna give that a mix. Okay, there you go. Got a lovely mixture there. We can now make some patties. So we're gonna make some simple patties. Now it's up to you how thick you make them and how big you make them. But one little tip that I always find, get your bread, this is the bread that I'm using. You need to make your burgers a little bit bigger than this because when we cook, when they cook them, when we cook them away, they're gonna shrink. So you need them to be slightly bigger than the bread that you're using. Okay, so I've got five burgers, as you can see, just slightly bigger than my bread and what I've done with these, I just use this bowl. This bowl, put a little bit of oil in it, get your meat in it, and then press it down, take it out, and then you've got a nice uniform sized beef patties. Now, these are quite delicate because we didn't put any breadcrumbs or flour in these, which some people do. If you want, straight to the cooker like I'm gonna do, but if you wanted, you could pop them in the freezer for about 30 minutes, and they'll just toughen up a little bit, and they'll be a little bit easier to manage. Let's get to the cooker. So I've got a flat skillet here, or a frying pan, and I've just put in some oil, as you can see, just brushing this around. You don't want loads and loads of it. I'm just using a bit of sunflower oil, you could use like corn oil or something. Now get this on nice and high, high, high heat. We're gonna pop in our burger patties. I think I'm gonna get three in here now. And like I said, if you put them in the freezer, they will just be a little bit more pliable, just a bit more easy to manage. Okay, high heat. Now these are not that thick, they're sort of that thick, or maybe like my thumb thickness or something like that. Depends how you want them done. Some people like them fairly rare, like you're cooking a steak or, you know, extra well done. I'm gonna cook these for about four minutes on each side on this high heat. I'll flip them in a moment. Okay, so these burgers are exactly where I want them to be. I'm gonna turn off the heat, and now we're gonna get some cheese on there. Now, I'm using some really nice, mature cheddar, fairly thick. That plastic cheese, you know them kind of slices that you get? It's disgusting, by the way. Try and use a nice cheese like this cheddar. The heat is off, I'm gonna pop the lid on, just leave it for like two minutes, let that cheese do its thing in there. Okay, off comes the lid. Let's have a look in there. Beautiful. Look at that cheese just starting to melt down nicely. Let's get a couple of easy cheeseburgers on the go. Okay, so keeping it nice and easy. If you wanted, you could toast your bread. I've not toasted mine, just cut them open. Ketchup, raw onions. Let's get one of those on there. Wow. Just grabbing one more here. Oh, that's good. So now I'm gonna grab a couple of slices of tomato and then I'm gonna put my tops on. And my tops, I've put mayonnaise on them. 
one, two, easy, super tasty cheeseburgers. Okay, so with this one, very similar, but we're gonna add a bit of chili to it. So ketchup on the bottom, raw onions, fried if you want, some jalapenos there. Let me grab a burger. Out she comes. And on she goes, wait, hot, hot, hot. Now, this is a Jamaican hot pepper sauce. This is really, really spicy, this stuff. But you could use it something else, you know, like something a bit more mild, a sriracha or your favorite, maybe some Tabasco. But yeah, this is murder. Mayonnaise on the top, off you go, bang. Okay, and just one more. So what we've got there is ketchup, raw onion fried if you want, slice of tomato. Just gonna grab a burger. On she goes. Now, barbecue sauce. Just a little bit more onion, one more tomato, one more burger. A little bit of ketchup. And then a mayonnaise top. On that goes, beautiful. Now, if you want, obviously, you can put some different things in there, lettuce, pickles, up to you. That is it. Okay, and there you go, that's it. Just some simple burgers there. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave us a little message. We'd like to hear from you. Say hi, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.